My name is Heha Singhole, and I am an educator in Montgomery County Public Schools. I and the students that you will hear from in this video are excited to share with you the story of APIDA studies in our district. This course came about as a result of student activism, family and community support, and allies in our central district office who have consistently supported efforts to diversify the social studies curriculum. In February of this year, the district office started the process to create Asian American studies to complement other ethnic studies electives that already exist in our county. In addition, they asked Asian American history teachers to co-create this course with students to reach its full potential of being relevant and engaging. Two of us history teachers worked with 16 Asian American students to create this curriculum. And it has been a wonderful opportunity to learn from one another and really create curriculum that will speak to the students who will get to take this course next year. You will get to listen to students' perspectives for the rest of the video for what it was like to have a say in the process of creating this curriculum. Hello, my name is Katie and I am a current senior at Rochelle Montgomery High School in Rockville, Maryland. Recognizing the widespread issues of racism and discrimination, especially within the past couple of years, I joined a group of other Montgomery County students to spearhead the creation of the county's first APIDA elective course. So APIDA stands for Asian Pacific Islander Study American. It allows high school students to explore key concepts such as racism, identity, resistance, colonialism, activism, and current events. The naming of our course to be APIDA instead of Asian American Pacific Islander is very special and that ensures that this course is encompassing and representative of a diverse group of identities and ethnicities. So personally, my journey to creating our school district's first Asian American history elective began at a meeting I helped organize between uh, various Asian American activist groups, including the Asian American Rest of Student Union, our National Chinese Honor Society, Asian American Club, and our school's principal to discuss some of the most recent racially motivated attacks against Asian Americans. I believe that the key to creating empathy between different racial groups originates from the teaching and discussion of their histories, which is an element that, to be honest, our school system currently lacks. Joining a group of teachers and students, I began to help draft what will become Montgomery County Public Schools' first Asian American studies course. So I personally focus on our activism and resistance to injustice unit, which analyzes the history of solidarity between Black and APIDA communities. This includes discussion around Malcolm X, Asian civil rights activists, such as Yuri Kochiyama, as well as the LA riots surrounding um, the Rodney King police brutality case in 1992. Much of what was discussed in my unit has strong ties to current events that are happening in today's society, and this is especially concerning. While this is only the first step to advance Asian American representation within our county, there's so much more we need to do to create empathy between the various groups and bring an end to racism and xenophobia, which plagues our society today. This semester-long course is broken up into four main units, these units being Asian American, Pacific Islander, Desi American, or APIDA identities, APIDA histories, activism and resistance to injustice, as well as pop culture and media representation. The overarching goal of this course is to help introduce and broaden students' understanding of the various histories, social issues, cultures, and politics of those who identify as the umbrella term Asian American. By making a PETA studies, we understand that Asian Americans are a very diverse group of people. Here's a list of some of the ethnicities that we go over. Keep in mind, this is not a comprehensive list of all the ethnicities. 
Unit 1 is titled APIDA Identities, and the purpose of this unit is to educate students on how APIDA identities have been shaped and influenced by political, social, cultural, and historical forces. Students will be able to get a deeper understanding of what the terms APIDA and Asian American really mean, as well as what the model minority is and its effect on various racialized groups. Students will also learn about racism and systems of oppression, as well as how APIDA communities are impacted by mental health issues through this unit. Unit 2 is titled APIDA Histories, and the purpose of this unit is to explain how the presence of Asian Americans in the United States have been determined by U.S. domestic and foreign policy. Throughout this unit, students explore topics such as imperialism, war, white supremacy, immigration histories, and the local and statewide history. Unit 3 is titled Activism and Resistance to Injustice, and the purpose of this unit is to educate students on how APIDA activism and resistance has had a role in both challenging oppression as well as upholding it. Throughout this unit, students explore topics such as civil rights activism, Black and Asian solidarity, police brutality, affirmative action, and immigration and immigrant rights. Unit 4 is titled Pop Culture and Media Representations, and the purpose of this unit is to have students evaluate and examine APIDA cultures and media representation as they become more mainstream in Western culture. Through this unit, students explore topics such as Asian American media representations as well as national media. While this unit does discuss Asian American media representation, it goes beyond just kind of identifying it, but also critiquing APIDA created media, as well as identifying barriers those in the APIDA community face when it comes to media representation. I want to get involved in the creation of APIDA studies because increasing diversity in education is extremely important. And as an Asian American student myself, I wanted to make sure that our community was represented in our schools as well as our classes. Asian culture is rarely covered in our current classes. So by creating APIDA studies, it was like creating a whole new voice for the Asian community to ensure that people actually understand the community beyond the stereotypes and what media portrays us to be.